tell Jesus that the bitch is back? I was in a two on two on the uptown in the you know what suburb, don't you? Hi everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing really, really well. So this is gonna be my cash stuff in for the second week of October, I think. So I'm just gonna check the purse and see what we've got left from last week. I think I might just break it. So we've still got £10 left from spending and £5 left from miscellaneous. I feel like technically I shouldn't have this £10 because I did get some nails today, some press on nails, but remove. I'll take it from my buffer. And then we should have some coins in here, which is, oh god, I'm sure there's more in here. Which is left over from the Dunnell Christmas shop. Um, which is really exciting. I got those bits. I shared it on my Instagram. I went out and bought the bags today. So everything is all packaged up. And I think I'll probably take it back tomorrow. So we've got £19 left from last week. Which is brilliant. And then we should have a further £200 to cash stuff this week. Which is great. So yeah, I hope you're all having a wonderful week. I think I'm going to stick to uploading these at the weekend. So have a nice weekend. <laughs> if that's when you're watching it. But let's give this a quick count. So we've got 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 50, 50, 50 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 80, 80, 90, 95, 200. So that is a total of 219 this week if we're including the leftovers I've just stuck these press on nails and I'm just waiting for them to ping off because that is exactly what happened the last time I used it so let's go straight into the savings binder I love this dashboard so getting ahead I'm getting ahead of myself <laughs> They just the purse for the week. So we're gonna do the same as always. I'm actually just gonna stick the folded monkey notes back in here. So it turns around as always. I guess I kind of cheated this week or last week. Um because that should have been spent. I did have a boots voucher that was like ten pounds left on it. Um I only went over by like I think it was like twenty six P. But I just used my card because I didn't want to break a ten pound note for save for 26p so that is the past done for another week what am i doing honestly <laughs> right now moving into the long-term savings binder i decided i wanted to split up emergency and getting ahead again just because i didn't feel like i was going to focus on it because there was more money if that makes sense um if there's more money in a category i want to focus on other things but I do need to focus on this, so that is why. And I'm standing up trying to record this and I keep hitting it, so it's awesome. Um, so getting ahead is going to get £20. We'll use the 20 why not? So let's colour in another two of these. Love that. And we'll give this a quick count. So we've got 1,200 in the bank for getting ahead and 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So 1,350 in here. I don't know what my final goal is. I keep changing. I say five grand, 10 grand. I like it to be a round number, like five or 10, but we'll see. Um, I got my bonus. I think I said the last video, but if you didn't watch it, then... We are at £15,014 in my lifetime ISA. Emergency fund is fully funded for now with £5,000. Um, this has gone up, but I need to check how much buy. Um, so I probably should have done that, but I'll do that off camera. Home is going to get 25 So 10, 20, 25. Is that right? So let's cut in another button. I added in a little bit more money into here because I wanted to get to the next, well, the next 500, but the next thousand as well. So 
that's that one done i never know if you guys can actually see me colouring these in but i'm sorry obsessed so in the home front we now have 5,000, 500, 700, 800 in the bank. So 5,820, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 900, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75. So 5,975 pounds in here. So just one more bow to go, one more 25, and then we're at 6,000, which is amazing. And this is for anything once I've bought the house, so I've got the deposit. Um, this is for anything else, basically. Um, the parents are getting 15. My mum now knows about this channel, so hopefully she doesn't find it. <laughs> because otherwise, she will know what this money is for. And it will ruin the surprise, so I'm not going to say. What colour were we doing this? Was it red? I don't know if it was red or not, I feel like it wasn't. Yep, yeah, that definitely does not match. But yeah, she found my channel. <laughs> so I hope she doesn't watch them. So we've got 1,100 in the bank and 10, 20, 25, 30, 35. So 1,135 in parents. I'm not going to be putting anything in savings or travel this week, but I do want to somehow fit that into the budget so i guess we'll see <laughs> moving on to my swinging hand binder you can see it's a little bit more chunky um again i've just swapped it around <laughs> um i feel like when i don't have separate envelopes of everything i take from the envelopes more i don't know why i do it i think it's because i think i've got more money for something so for example like birthdays i have a budget for my boyfriend and my parents and my grandparents ish and then everyone else i just sort of get what they've asked for like what's on their list sort of thing um so like the budget varies but if i've got a birthday fund with like 500 pound in saving for like my parents birthday my partner's birthday etc who would get like a little bit more than everyone else then i think oh well i've got loads of money in here i might as well spend it and then i go and spend it on everyone else and then it's not actually there for that do you know what i mean if that makes any sense so I have separated the funds a little bit more. But annuals is going to get £10 this week. So we've got 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95. Um, the next thing coming up is my prescription. I pay that annually and that's due in January. It's a hundred and something. I think maybe a hundred and like 15, something like that. I do need to double check. But I think it's around that amount. So that should be fine. Uh, dentist is gonna get 10 pounds. I think I want to get Invisalign. I had braces for I think it was actually longer than five years in the end. Um, and basically, where my wisdom teeth are coming through, I wore my retainer like every night, like you're supposed to do during the day in the beginning, and oh, it's so frustrating when my wisdom teeth are coming through, my like retainers don't like slide in. Oh like slide in the gap at the back if that makes sense and um, like in between so i don't really know what the options are but i think i might go for invisalign so i'll need like obviously like a checkup i'll probably need something doing because i haven't been to the dentist in a while um i have that you know dread fear of the dentist like a lot of people do so i've been putting it off so something I might need doing plus invisalign potentially if my teeth move um yeah i don't know i feel like they're going to i can already see a couple of them moving which is really annoying did i count this we've got 50 in the bank 70 80 85 i think i did <laughs> um so yeah i might have to get in this line but i need to like, have a couple look into it groceries is going to get skipped homes is going to get skipped we've got 50 in the bank and 70 in here i need to get some more um like sheets on my bed, potentially new bed in. Opticians, I've got fully funded with 150. And transport is gonna get five pounds. So we've got 50, 60, 65. So I do wanna start looking for a new job. Um, but obviously from where I had my like last paycheck, if I end up working back in town again and I have to get a train, I'm gonna need like a month's worth or whatever 
of train fare in here so I do want to slowly start building it up in case I do go for something uptown. The wellness has got 500 and I'm not going to put anything else in here today. I think I want to just try and keep it around 500. Um, Beth maybe is getting five pounds. So yeah, like I said, I have like a rough sort of plan for what I want to spend on everyone for the birthday. In my notes on my phone, I sort of know like whose birthday is coming up when. So we've got fifty pounds in the bank and sixty five. So hopefully I can keep building this one up. And um, my partner's birthday is going to get five pounds. So we've got two hundred in the bank and twenty thirty forty forty five. So five more pounds and that one will be fully funded, which is exciting. Um, and then I can really focus on occasions in this binder. Family is getting skipped. Gifting is getting five pounds. So we've got 25 in gifting. Um, my cousin is actually pregnant, which is so exciting. It's the first baby in the family for like 20 odd years, um, which is just insane. Um, so I want to put together like a little like hamper self-care thing for her. So I don't know how much that will be, probably more than 25. Um, I think I have an actual like hamper box, I don't know where you can get them from. I was looking on Amazon and they were like 15 quid and I was like surely you can get it cheaper. So I might maybe just put it in like a gift bag or something, I don't know. Um, miscellaneous is going to get skipped and occasions is going to get £10. So this is for my friends at wedding next year. We were supposed to be going bridesmaid dress shopping next weekend, but I haven't heard anything so... Potentially this money might be gone, I don't know if we're buying a dress. I don't think we are, I think our parents are paying for it, but I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But I've got 200 in the bank and 20, 40, 50, 60, 65. So 265 in occasions. And my cousin's going to have a baby shower, I think January time. But I don't, I've never been to a baby shower. Um, Like I said, it's the first, or it's the first baby like any of my like friends, family, anyone's had. So I've never been to one, don't really know what to do. I think you just buy a gift. So maybe I can take that money out of gifting as well. But we'll see. Um, parents is going to get £10. So we are starting this one off for my mum's birthday. Not until next year, so if I've got time. But I just want to get a little head start. And subscriptions is empty. So that is my sinking funds binder done. If you want to do up, I love that looking thing. Right, moving on to my binder. My favourite binder. I think eventually I really want to get all like fancy dollar envelopes, but I'm going to be good for now. Right, I feel like I'm, I'm standing up, I'm getting really out of breath. Beauty is going to get £5. I think I'm just going to stick a fiver in here every week. Um, don't know when I'm going to book my next hair appointment, but we've got 50 in the bank. 60, 70, oh, 75, 80. Is that right? I think so. Um, Bulletin, I'm going to skip for now. A couple of envelopes in this binder I want to focus on first. Um, clothes is going to get five. I do actually need some more winter bits. I've got 50 in the bank. 60, 65, 70. I've got like hoodies and stuff. Um, and like jogging bottoms, leggings, that kind of thing. But I don't have any like nice going out winter outfits. Not that I go out much, but you know, might be nice to have something. Getaways is going to get 10, so I've got 20 pounds in here. I don't know if I had this envelope last week. Uh, Chop and change so much. But me and my partner normally have like a little like UK getaway. We've been to Somerset. We did the Golden Retriever experience there, which was just amazing. It was so cute. Um... We went to Brighton this year, which was nice. Me and the girls sometimes do a little UK getaway. We went away last year. I, th I think it might have been Sussex or something somewhere. I actually have no idea where I went. Um, but it was cute. So I just want to save for that because I just want to be like separate from my holidays. Holidays is getting skipped, but if you want 2000 in the bank. Um, I actually spent more than I thought I did. Um, on holiday so I put some bits on my credit card whilst I was out there forgot about them so didn't think I spent that much but that's okay out there being paid off so we've got 2000 left which is fine um, memories is getting skipped but we've got 110 in here I took some out of here I bought something but I can't remember what it was um, person was going to get £5 so you've got 10 15 20 in here 
again, I took some money out of here. I can't remember what it's for because I don't actually think I bought anything. No idea, I'm going to have to double check my book. Social is going to get £10. So we've got 100 in the bank and 10 Spending is going to get skits. I'm really, really trying to get cut down on the spending. Um, takeaways is getting skipped. We've got 15 in here. Four Chinese at weekend. £60. £60. Like, it was for four of us, so I guess it was like 15 each. But, like, that is just crazy. Um, tech is going to get five. So, we've got 50 in the bank, 60, 70, 75, 80. And this is going to be for a new phone or, like, new airpods or whatever. Whenever something basically tech that I own breaks, that's to replace it, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, I do really want a MacBook, but I really don't need one, so hopefully I don't buy one. <laughs> Wish list is getting at £10. So we've got 50 in the bank, 60, 70, 80, and 90. That's built up really nicely over the past couple of months, which is great. And that is my personal binder all done. There's a coach bag that I really want to get, but it's, I can't remember, I think it's 300 and something. I'm just like, I really shouldn't. But that is what that envelope is there for. If I just stick five, ten pound each week, it's not like I'm putting loads of money in there and not saving anything I'm just making these big purchases but I think when it comes around to it I won't do it like I had enough I think it might have been last year when I was flesh off in to get my ideal necklace that I wanted um I got some money for like birthdays Christmas and I could have got it and I've been talking about it for literally like years um but I just can't part with I think it was almost 500 pound which is just it's a lot of money for a piece of jewellery I know which is why I didn't get it because I don't need it. Um, but it's still on my mind. Um, what are we suffering here? Valentine's Day. I'm going to add ten pounds in here. So we've got ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty pounds. I might fully fund it there. I'm going to collect in two of these icons. Because normally me and my partner, we do go a bit like mad on gifts like Valentine's Day, anniversary, Christmas, birthdays, all that jazz. But now we're actually like, we've got a plan to move out, obviously, unemployed life. <laughs> so I think I just need to be a bit more careful about what I'm spending my money on um, and maybe cut down. So hopefully will £50 be enough for like a little gift and a meal? I mean, he'll obviously pay half, I'll pay half. He will probably pay for it, to be fair. So I think... I might leave that at £50. Could be fully funded at 50 I don't know. I'm just going to pop that in here because I don't want it smudge. What have we got in here? 10, 20, 30 for New Year's. Which I think will be enough because it will just be a meal. I think that's the only thing. Oh, I love this envelope. Um, yeah, Christmas has got money in it. I think the next thing I'll work on is anniversary. But we'll see next week. And last but not least, we've got my challenge binder. I feel like it's starting to get dark already. Um, what have we got there? 10, 15, 20. So I'm going to pop £10 in here. So we've got 10, 20, 25, 30. And this challenge is just going to go. Let's cross off two of these towards my savings so it'll be either my home savings or my emergency fund uh getting a hedge fund so it, whoa whoa <laughs> yeah my home savings or my emergency fund getting a hedge fund god honestly so yeah well, we've got 10 25 30 so 20 more pound to go in this one i like doing these like smaller challenges i mean 50 pound isn't small but i used to do like 500 pound challenges and they took forever i must say i quite like doing these little ones and as you can see i started this challenge i couldn't help myself i'm going to set the last 10 in here so 10 15 20 25 now i need to work out what i actually can color in because i've done each one as two pound 
and I'm too thick to work this out. Right, see if I cut it. Oh my lord. Soz. Nikki, I've absolutely butchered that. Right, that's a pound. And then I've got two, four, six, eight for colouring this hat. And the Grinch can't be coloured in. Is that what I'm doing? I think so, honestly. I had to get up early this morning. Because I had another hospital appointment, just had some tests. Apparently my doctor thinks I've got asthma. So I had to have like a lung function test thing. Which was fun, but I'm not colouring that face. So I feel like I've been up since the crack of dawn. Which is a bit dramatic, it was like half eight. But we moved, oh my god, I'm absolutely butchering this kind of thing. Did I do that right? Because I'm actually not sure what I did. I've done each one is £2 because I wanted it to say 50 So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25. So I'm right, 10, 15, 20, 25. Wow, well, going me, I'm not six up at all. <laughs> um, this challenge, I think, will go towards like a Christmas day out or a couple of Christmas days out. Um, that's what the last one was for, but I used it for Dunnell, so that's fine. And then last but not least, I've got these coins. So I've got four pound coins to go in my tin. So let's just put in another four of these. And hallelujah, my nails haven't pinged off. Slay me. I can't really see properly, I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't sound like I'm breathing like really close. <laughs> so I'm gonna pop these in my tin. And I was doing my bed out of the day. I'll tell the story in a minute. Let's shove these in. Because I can never get them in without putting anything else on top. So I'm gonna to need to take some of these coins out. Oh, do you want you in there? And I found a load of coins from like different countries. Some I've been to and some I haven't. I just like, I'm so confused where some of them come from. Some of them are just like scents and stuff. I've got like one of these 50p's. Does anyone know if these are like collectible? What's the year on it? 2018, so it's not like it's an old one, but like, you know the ones with the different patterns on, are they collectibles? Like, do I shove that in my penny tin or do I keep it? But like, I've got loads of like, I think these ones might be from when we went to Dubai. Which are cool. But I found some like half pennies. Let me see if I can find one. Yeah, this is like new. Oh, you guys are not going to be able to see this because it's literally like so disgusting and dark. But it says new penny half. Oh, what year was it from? I literally can't even see on it. Oh, 1971. Like, are these, some of these collectibles? I don't know. Some of them are just like normal scents. And... Where's that from? Oh, Singapore. We went to Singapore uh, a couple of years ago now. So we've got some change from that, which is cool. I love seeing like different money. Although my hands feel really dirty right now. But yeah, like some of these like half a penny ones, like, I've got a couple of them in there, and I don't know if they're really like a sister everywhere. But yeah, I don't know if any of them are like worth keeping or. Because can you spend half a penny now? Like. I mean, I don't really even know what half a penny is, I'm not gonna lie. But that was quite cool. But anyway, <laughs> that is the money all gone for another week. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you soon with another video. Thanks for watching, guys.